Dear Kick Kids In the rugged and remote terrains of Afghanistan, where access to education has been an enduring challenge due to conflict and geographical constraints, an unexpected initiative emerged, the Taliban's Wi-Fi projector education system. This unique endeavor, born out of necessity and driven by an evolving worldview, sought to provide education to the children of war-torn regions. As unconventional as it may sound, this story highlights how even in the midst of adversity, innovation and adaptation can pave the way for positive change. The roots of the Taliban's Wi-Fi projector education system can be traced back to the turbulent history of Afghanistan. The nation had long been grappling with political instability, military conflict and restricted access to education, particularly for girls. However, amidst these challenges, the Taliban began to recognize the power of education in shaping minds and molding future generations. As their stance softened over time, a new chapter began to unfold. With the rise of technology, especially the proliferation of smartphones, the Taliban saw an opportunity to bridge the educational gap. They envisioned a system that could deliver knowledge to children in areas where traditional schooling was impractical due to safety concerns, lack of infrastructure, and cultural norms. The Wi-Fi projector education system was unlike any traditional education model. It consisted of a network of solar-powered Wi-Fi projectors strategically installed in villages and remote settlements. These projectors streamed pre-recorded lessons created by a team of educators, covering a wide range of subjects including mathematics, languages, science, and even aspects of Afghan culture. The curriculum aimed to strike a balance between contemporary knowledge and the preservation of traditional values. A pivotal factor in the initiative's success was the involvement of local community members. The Taliban collaborated with villagers, engaging them in the process of setting up and maintaining the projectors. This not only empowered the communities but also fostered a sense of ownership and investment in the education of their children. Implementing the Wi-Fi projector education system was not without its hurdles. Resistance came from various quarters, fueled by skepticism and fear of ulterior motives. Some questioned the Taliban's sudden interest in education, while others worried about the influence these lessons might wield over impressionable minds. To address these concerns, the Taliban adopted a multi-pronged approach. They invited community leaders and religious figures to review the curriculum and provide feedback. This inclusive approach helped build trust and allay fears that the education provided might deviate from cultural or religious norms. Moreover, they encouraged parents to attend sessions and learn alongside their children, thereby reinforcing the idea that the initiative was aligned with local values. Over time, the Wi-Fi projector education system began to yield transformative outcomes. Children who had been denied the opportunity to learn due to conflict and inaccessibility now had a chance to gain knowledge and skills that would equip them for a better future. Girls, especially, were among the greatest beneficiaries. With the gradual acceptance of the importance of female education, the initiative helped break down barriers that had hindered their progress for generations. Moreover, the education system had unintended positive consequences on the perception of the Taliban. This unorthodox approach began to reshape the group's image, portraying them as an entity that had evolved from its rigid past and was now working towards the betterment of the community. While the Wi-Fi projector education system marked a significant step towards improving education in Afghanistan, it still faced challenges. The sustainability of the initiative depended on the continued support and collaboration of the Taliban, as well as the global community. Questions arose about the project's long-term viability, especially as geopolitical dynamics and internal politics remained unpredictable. Additionally, the international perception of the initiative was a double-edged sword. While some applauded the Taliban for embracing innovation and recognizing the value of education, others remained skeptical, viewing it as a mere propaganda tool. Balancing these perceptions while staying true to their goals became another challenge that the Taliban had to navigate. The story of the Taliban's Wi-Fi projector education system is one of paradoxes. It emerged from an organization with a history of opposing education and modernity, yet it showcased adaptability and innovation. It aimed to fill the educational void left by conflict and remoteness, 
yet it encountered resistance due to deep-seated suspicions. It changed the lives of children, particularly girls, while challenging the world's perception of the Taliban. In the end, this initiative highlighted the power of education to transform lives, even in the most unlikely circumstances. It demonstrated that even amidst adversity, when the intent is genuine and the approach is inclusive, positive change is possible. As the projector beams of knowledge illuminated the minds of Afghanistan's next generation, they also illuminated a new path for the country one where innovation and education could overcome the barriers of tradition and conflict. Title, Empowerment Through Innovation, The Tale of Taliban's Modern Technological Homeschooling System for Women's Education. In a region marked by centuries of tradition, the Taliban's unexpected foray into modern technological education systems brought a ray of hope to the women of Afghanistan. The narrative of the Taliban's modern homeschooling initiative unfolds as a paradoxical tale, reflecting both the group's evolution and the resilience of Afghan women in their pursuit of education, empowerment, and change. For decades, the Taliban had been synonymous with oppressive policies against women's education. However, the winds of change began to blow as the group started realizing the potential of education to reshape its image and the nation's future. A gradual shift in ideology saw the Taliban acknowledging the importance of educating women, a transformation both surprising and unprecedented. Intriguingly, the Taliban chose a modern technological approach to enable women's education. Recognizing that traditional schooling was fraught with security and societal challenges, they embarked on a journey to establish a homeschooling system that would provide education within the confines of Afghan homes. The Taliban's modern homeschooling system centered on a blend of technology, tailored curriculum, and community engagement. It began with the distribution of smartphones and tablets, devices that would serve as windows to the world of knowledge. These devices came preloaded with educational applications, online resources, and interactive lessons covering subjects ranging from mathematics and science to languages and vocational skills. Key to the initiative's success was its adaptability to Afghan cultural norms. The curriculum was carefully curated to integrate modern education with values that respected Afghan traditions. The aim was to create a balanced educational experience that nurtured critical thinking while upholding cultural heritage. Afghan women, long relegated to the margins of society, emerged as the catalysts of change within this education revolution. The Taliban recognized that by empowering women with education, they were fostering a generation of informed mothers, daughters, and sisters who could contribute positively to their families and communities. Education was viewed as a means to rebuild the nation from within, by nurturing a new generation of leaders, entrepreneurs, and problem solvers. Women across the country embraced the opportunities the homeschooling system provided. No longer bound by the restrictions of public spaces, they immersed themselves in the world of knowledge, using the devices to connect with teachers, access resources, and collaborate with peers. A silent but significant transformation was underway, as Afghan women defied norms and carved their path towards empowerment. The journey towards women's education was not devoid of challenges. Deep-seated societal norms often clashed with the new educational paradigm. Conservative elements within Afghan society questioned the need for women's education beyond domestic roles. In response, the Taliban leveraged community leaders, religious figures, and women who had benefited from the system as advocates, challenging perceptions and encouraging acceptance. Moreover, the homeschooling system inadvertently became a tool for changing perceptions about the Taliban itself. By enabling women's education, the group projected an image of moderation and adaptation, setting the stage for a broader acceptance of their initiatives both domestically and internationally. As the homeschooling system gained momentum, the Taliban's worldview underwent a remarkable transformation. The education initiative had brought them face to face with the nuances of modernity, communication, and collaboration. This exposure paved the way for a broader paradigm shift within the group, leading to more open-minded approaches and dialogue. The Taliban began to explore partnerships with international organizations, NGOs, and even governments. This marked a significant departure from their previous isolationist stance, 
highlighting their desire to learn from global best practices and align with international education standards. The Taliban's modern technological homeschooling system evolved into a beacon of hope and progress for Afghanistan's women. The initiative was no longer just about education, it symbolized the aspirations of a generation that yearned for a better future. Gradually, the walls of ignorance and gender-based discrimination began to crumble, making space for dreams to flourish. As women gained access to education, they also gained access to opportunities. The seeds of empowerment planted by the Taliban's unconventional approach were yielding a harvest of change. Young girls dared to dream of professions beyond traditional boundaries, while mothers acquired knowledge that enhanced their roles within their families. The success of the Taliban's modern technological homeschooling system was undeniable, but challenges persisted. The sustainability of the initiative relied on maintaining the delicate balance between Afghan traditions and global educational standards. The group needed to safeguard the progress it had made while navigating complex geopolitical dynamics. The international community's perception of the Taliban's evolving stance played a crucial role in shaping the future of the initiative. Skepticism and caution lingered, but there was also a growing realization that change, even from unlikely sources, could be transformative. The story of the Taliban's modern technological homeschooling system for women's education is a narrative of transformation against all odds. It serves as a testament to the power of education to overcome entrenched ideologies and to empower those who have been denied agency for far too long. The initiative marked the beginning of a new chapter for Afghanistan one where women's voices and aspirations could no longer be silenced. As the nation embraced the potential of its women, it simultaneously embraced the potential of its own future. The Taliban, once known for stifling progress, had become unlikely champions of change, harnessing modern technology to usher in an era of empowerment, enlightenment and enduring transformation.